get started using the WP Media Remix plugin. Let's go ahead and go to our WordPress blog here. Go to our dashboard, over to our plugins. And we've already uploaded the plugin through the Add New Feature. Go ahead and activate that. Click on the sidebar right here. Now we have WP Media Remix right here. So this is our dashboard. We can create a new player, manage our players, or watch this help video. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Create a new media player. We have a brand player, design, actions, autoresponder, media, and content. So let's go ahead and create a player right now. Add a logo. Continue to add a headline. to your Facebook fan page. And your Twitter profile page. And let's continue on with the through our design so we can add button and URL for that button is just for example. And we have the pop up overlay, black opacity or none close black opacity and we have the rating stars so we can choose which rating stars Let's go ahead and have 5 out of 5 and here we have actions we can and we can set the time for this I want this to appear at 5 seconds into the video we can set the button flash time as well. Go ahead and add that at 10 seconds. Here we have an autoresponder, which we'll get into one second. Here we're going to add the audio player or create a video player. We can add the M4A file and OOG for the MP3 files. And there's a free converter. You can free convert it for videos to MP4 or MF4V. Anyway, so you can go ahead and add a URL to the video file and the poster, which we'll do right now. Okay, we have added the video file and image file, and this is extra content. Save that. Then go to manage players and then have the short code right here. We can copy and paste and we can delete it or edit it. So let's just go to our pages and home. Click right here and let's go ahead and paste that there so we can preview what it looks like. And let's go ahead and view this page. Go ahead and scroll down. There's our headline and our sub headline, our button, our star rating, the video image, our logo all of the links we've added and the extra content and we have the share button so we can add people can add this onto their blog so let's go ahead we can mute this and this uh, reflection is only this is a pop-up the alert we set that for five seconds and at 10 seconds this will pop up this reflection is only on Google Chrome this is a small feature Let's go ahead and add a autoresponder pop-up to our page. So let's go here. We have added our autoresponder code, which is the HTML form code, our headline, and a button text, as well as the time that it wants to appear. So let's go ahead and reload our page. And let's go ahead and play the video. We have the pop-up. We'll go ahead and click sign up and we have activated thank you for watching